Hi, I'm Coach Leslie. And I'm Coach Andrea. Welcome to Stabilization, Strength, and Balance Routine. Oh, what, is that? what do you mean about that? I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you know, running is a single leg sport, and so you are balancing on one leg and then the other. But this isn't just about balancing on one leg. We're also talking about all the little intrinsic muscles that we have that hold your spine stable and keep everything in alignment. It might feel easy, and that's okay. You can always modify the next time you do the routine and make it a little bit harder. And remember, these are little muscles, though, so we don't want to overtax them because then the big muscles take over. We're trying to get some of the little ones. Yeah, it won't feel like big bicep curls or big movements, but that's okay. You're going to need a couple types of bands, a mini loop band or a resistance band, and if you're not sure how to fit this into your routine, please consult with Coach. All right, All right. let's get started. Okay, our first exercise is a bird dog. Be on your hands and knees. We're going to lift opposite arm, opposite leg, which sounds easy, but the hard part is to stabilize the hip that's staying down so you don't sway off to the side. I'm going to go 12 on each side. Okay. You're going to lift out with control. Come back down. Nice pitch. Make sure to engage your core. Pull that belly button towards your backbone. See how slowly we're going? Really, people tend to rush through this one, and it's really about that shift from one side to the other. You only extended your leg out as far as you can to float in the glute, but without overarching your back. So I think we'll see people really lifting up high. Keeping that core engaged. You can tell this takes a lot of focus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not rocking back and forth, keeping your upper body and your hips still. Think of this as a nice warm up, right? <laughs> One more on each side. Good job. All right. Okay, on to number two. Side plank dips. Okay. So you can do this. You don't really need mm -hmm. your feet. Yep. You want to make sure that elbow's under your shoulder. You're going to come up into a side plank. And then you're going to dip your hip down. Bring it back up. It's not a big motion. And you're not bringing your hip down to the ground. Make sure you're pulling that belly button in towards your spine. Everything's in alignment, including your head. If you started out on your feet and you need to change down to your knees to do this, that's okay. Switch sides. Ready? Okay. You might find one side's easier. Or harder. Haha. <laughs> Two more. All right. Excellent. All right, on to single leg bridges. 
going to lay back. You're going to bring your feet towards your hips. And take one leg up, and your hands will be kind of at your sides or out to the side. And you can either have your leg kind of straight up or straight up. And you're just going to push up through your heel using that glute. Come almost down, and then back up. Not pushing too high so that your back overarches, keeping it all a straight line. If you feel it in your hamstring, you can come back down and bring your foot either farther in or a little bit farther out, and make sure you're pushing through the heel. Try to keep those hips nice and balanced. I think uh, normally you say, pretend you have a glass. Glass of water. <laughs> Don't let them spill. One more. Good. And switch feet. Okay. Continuing to breathe. Try to relax your, relax your shoulders and your neck too. Tense up. Keeping those hips still, nice and level. If it's too much to even do this, you can just do a two leg bridge. Absolutely. And make sure you're feeling it. Last one. Good. All right. Okay, and on to donkey kicks. Right back to our hands and knees. With your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Yes, and again, this is going to be about not rocking side to side. We're going to take your foot towards the ceiling, keeping that knee at kind of a 90 degree angle, and bring it back. Make sure the motion is out of the hip and not out of your spine. It's really easy to see, overarch your spine. You see the hips a lot. that heel right on the ceiling. Oh, there's that glute. Making sure your upper body stays nice and still and the other side of the hip is also in a flat tabletop. Two more. Switch sides. Okay. Up we go. Remember not to rock side to side. Engage that core so you're not using your spine. Pressing that heel up. Two more. Good. Nice job. Okay, we're going to go on to a half kneeling heel off press. And we're using a long band for this one. It's a little complicated to get into position. <laughs> so you're going to step on your band about halfway through. You're going to bring it all towards the inside. Wrap it under your knee and come back around so that you're centered. Your leg is out a just little slightly. Bit to the side. And your tendency is going to be to sink into one of your hips. So try to think about keeping your hips nice and squared. Then you're just going to press out and come back in. It won't feel necessarily like you're doing a lot, but there's a ton of stabilization going on so that you don't shift. Body is upright straight. If you're having to push a little bit too far, you really need a lighter band, right? Yes. <laughs> and we have it doubled, but you could just do a single one cluster. So 
your shoulder relaxed, right? Your ears don't help. No, no. <laughs> Two more. I'm going to switch legs. My knees are delicate, so I need a little padding. <laughs> Again, we're going to step on it about halfway. Bring it to the inside and underneath. Bring it up. Slide those out. Hips are nice and square. Bring it over. Core is engaged. And This is a sneaky one. <laughs> <laughs> that knee out is where I'm feeling the work. Your glutes. Mm -hmm. Two more. Okay, we're going on to a single leg balance where we're going to be in a mini squat and then we're going to be reaching with our foot in different planes of motion. You can do it with a band or you can do it without. And this is a mini band around our ankles. And you can hold on or you can not. The idea is, is that we don't want to have you shifting your weight significantly as we go. So you're going to start by taking that foot forward into a diagonal. You also want to be soft on your landing with that foot, so everything is controlled. And the standing line is just pushing through the heel and really working that, feeling it in your glute, that standing glute. You don't need to use a band for this one. <laughs> I always think about it for trail running because if you're trail running, you're coming down in all different directions, and so this is helping stabilize no matter what. Or hiking. Yep. Make one more. I'm going to keep your upper body still. Yeah, you can feel that one, huh? <laughs> okay, we get to switch legs. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Squat again. Squat. And share the love on that other boot. <laughs> right, keep that weight centered over that leg. Again, these are little motions, but we're working little muscles. One of those things you'll notice over time <laughs> that you'll be able to just do things easier without thinking about it. Some of that's that stabilization we're talking about. And the single leg stuff forces you to work both sides. And it's okay if you got off on which way you're going, Whatever. just work on all the motions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think we're keeping our band. Oh, we are keeping our band. Okay, on to a monster walk. <laughs> <laughs> so this one you're going to be working forward and back, and you're going to be in a squat, and you're going to be taking one foot out, stepping, keeping some tension, and then the other foot. And you'll notice that I have it right above my knees, and Leslie has it at her ankles. This is slightly easier. That's a little harder, so you get to choose which one. Yeah. Now, if you can do all of them in one line, that's great. We might not have enough real estate, so we, you might see us break it up. Go forward. Keep that upper body nice and still. 
that big stick. There's our six. Now we're going to reverse it. Mm. Think about coming in and out. What you did. <laughs> Keeping those knees out. That's it. Yay. <laughs> and forward. Oh, okay. <laughs> get to 12. <laughs> Think about pushing off that leg that's staying on the ground. The entire leg. Yes. Good. And reverse. Monster walks accomplished. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Onto a standing wood chop. Again, we've got our bigger bands. You can do it doubled up or you can do it single. Just put them away. Yeah, our bands aren't long enough, so we're going to go single. Your feet are shoulder width apart or a little bit wider. We're going to have both hands on the band. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> okay. And you're going to wood chop up and you're going to rotate in that hip. And come back down. You don't want the twist to be out of your spine. You want it to be out of your hip. So your hip is changing. You're pointing it towards where you're drawing the band. You can actually squeeze your glute at the top there. That'll help you make sure that you're keeping that hip. And you're resisting the band on the way up and on the way down. You may have to play with the band. Yeah, great <laughs> tension. Got two more. Good. And we're going to switch sides. Okay. <laughs> All right, the other side. <laughs> if your bands get old, you'll notice that they get easier. Yes. They well, can break. They can break. <laughs> well, it's nice to have a backup. Keep that core nice and engaged. We're not twisting at our waist. I thought I was twisting at my waist. <laughs> One more. Okay. Okay, on to hip hikes. And you'll notice Andrea's going to be using a dumbbell. I'm not. You can do it either way. You can hold on. You don't have to. We find that it isolates the, the action a little bit better. So you're going to bring your foot up. And I have the weight on the leg that's up. And then you're going to literally hike your hip and then drop it. It's not bending your knee in a mini squat. You want your knee soft, but the motion is out of your hips. So for any of you who've done hula dancing, this would be appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> and some of this is also uh, some of your mobility in your hip. So you may not move that, that much. Yeah. And you might not feel it at first, and that's okay. Again, small movements getting some of the smaller muscles within the, the hip area. The ones that don't get a lot of work usually. Good, and switch sides. Is that 12 already? Nice. Mm. No switch sides. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. 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 Squatting. <laughs> and that 
too much. Okay, on to a standing T, and we are going to do it a couple different ways. I'm going to have some weights to kind of create a counterbalance. Andrea's going to do it holding on. You can always switch in the middle, and this is going to help isolate our glute, and we're going to end with a high knee drive because that brings it into more of a running motion. So you're going to start by taking one leg straight back and bringing your body towards the T position. If you're not flexible enough, it might be hard to get all the way and then you're gonna bring that knee all the way forward. Very much a balance exercise here. And your body stays in one plane, facing forward only. Don't want your hips to pop out. Keep your hip lifting, of course. But a lot of this depends on your hamstring flexibility and hips. So you may not need to go this far, like this may be far enough. So it's kind of up to you about what feels right. You're going to start feeling it in your standing hip. I'm feeling it in my standing hip. <laughs> Keeping your hips pointed forward, not letting them pop out. Bring your torso all the way to one knee. Yeah, you're not hinging at your waist. Staring at the ground, one spot really helps. With yes, it does. <laughs> You'll notice we are concentrating on this one. As you get tired, you will see the wobbles. If you're holding on the chair, you can always try a little go and see, see what happens. to our bird dogs. So that was on our hands and knees. Real here. Oh, and we're alternating, extending one arm, one leg. And then I'm switching. And remember the key to this was to not rock back and forth on your hips. When you, especially when you're switching from one side to the other. make this a little more challenging, you could put a mini loop band around your knees. If you find it challenging, too challenging this way, you can try just lifting an arm or just elbows, making sure you're getting right motion. Number two, this isn't an arch in your back. It's just an extension of your head. Or engaged. So 
the last one. I'm going to do it both sides. Great. Okay. Come to our side planks. Okay. With a hip, of course. Of course. <laughs> so elbows are on your shoulders. You can go from your feet or your knees. And then you're going to just drop that hip and lift. Not a big motion. Your hip does not come to the ground. Your head should be in alignment. Remember to breathe. Uh -huh. You're doing everything active your core, your glutes, quads, hamstrings, all of it. And one more. To the other side. Two more. Good. All right. <laughs> Single leg bridge. All right. On your back. You can choose where you put your leg. If you have it straight up, it's a little easier. Out is a little harder. so far that your hips are, your back is engaged. You might feel like a really small motion and that's okay. Keep your hips level. Remember, don't spill that water. <laughs> really pushing through your heel. One more. Good. And switch sides. About your glute doing the work here. You might be getting a little tired <laughs> this second round through, that's okay. One more. Back to our hands and knees. Hands under your shoulders. Knees under your hips again. Back is nice and flat. The biggest thing we don't want to see is an arch in your back. This motion is out of your hip. I'm going to go on one side. So I stabilize with the side that's down. Pushing that heel towards the ceiling. And not bringing it even up to the arch. When you tend to see people really just walking through it, like <laughs> it's a very slow and controlled motion, so you feel the work in your glute. Good, and switch sides. and stable. And two more. Great. Good job. Okay, now we're going to grab our big bands. Yes. Well, yesterday was the uh... Okay, we're going to step 
halfway through our band. Oh, don't fall me over. <laughs> knee to the inside, then wrap it under that knee. And remember that leg is going to be just slightly out. Your hip that's down is straight up and down. And pull that to center. Then you're going to press out and come back to press. Keeping that knee pressed out against the band. The whole body is stable. Don't feel like you can really draw. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. You know you're doing some work. <laughs> Two more. Okay. The secret is the wrap. <laughs> it is <laughs> Sneaky extra work. Okay, two more. Good. Good job. Okay. All right. Okay, on to our mini squat with mini band. And remember, we're going to be moving our leg in multiple planes of motion. So you're going to come down into that squat. We're going to start by going forward, diagonal. <laughs> and if you get mixed up, that's okay. Just make sure you're going all different directions. This is creating a lot of hip stability. Practicing for your next hike. <laughs> Maybe on if you need to. Keeping the whole body still. Your leg, it's really just your leg. On this side, that's good. <laughs> good. And other side, and then switch. This is where I admit that I would never do this a second time by myself. <laughs> but since you're all here with us, here we go. <laughs> Thank you for holding me accountable. <laughs> Yeah. A little bit. The worst dance ever. ever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, we have two more rounds. as you're pushing off to the side. Pushing off with your entire leg. There's more dance moves for you. <laughs> Good, and reverse it. Gotta keep that feet and knee in alignment. more 
time forward. Stay with it if your glutes are getting a little tired, that's okay. Our shoulder width apart are a little bit wider. We're gonna have both hands on the band. Okay, and you're going to wood chop up and you're gonna rotate in that hip and come back down. You don't want the twist to be out of your spine, you want it to be out of your hip. So your hip is changing and pointing it towards where you're drawing the band. Actually, squeeze your glute at the top there. That'll help you make sure that you're keeping that hip. And you're resisting the band on the way up and on the way down. You may have to play with the band too. Yeah. Right <laughs> tension. Two more. Good. And we're going to switch sides. Okay. Uh, all right. That right tension again. <laughs> all right. The other side. <laughs> and engaged. Remember, we're not twisting at our waist. I thought I was twisting at my waist. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Good. Okay. Okay, onto those hip hikes. So you're going to bend one knee. You can have a dumbbell oh, or not. Ah, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> and remember, this standing leg is soft, but you're not doing a squat. That stays stable. You're just going to hike your hip and drop your hip. It's not a big motion, and it will vary based on you. Body, your shoulders stay still. You can feel it under your hip. Okay, we're going to switch sides. This is an easy exercise to do when you're traveling on the road, mm -hmm. just down any stairway. This is one of my PT assigned ones I do pretty much daily. Let me know if I haven't done it. Put it that way. <laughs> right. Two more. Good. All right, on to standing T's. Oh, we're going to do weights again, huh? You can get 12. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you can also switch to something else. Yes. Right? <laughs> All right, remember this is a hinge at your hips. It's not a bending at your waist. And only go to where you can, keeping everything in alignment. And then we're gonna bring that knee forward. It's not a fast exercise. You probably wish it were, but it's not. And making sure your hip stays to tabletop instead of popping out. If that means you don't extend your leg as far back, that's okay. That's all right. 
I'm just going to be here whatever, whatever you want for you today. Let's get them buried someday today. <laughs> it is hard. <laughs> you realize it takes focus. Yes. As soon as you don't focus, you get wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last side. All right, let's do this. Okay, 12. Here we go. I got it. and steady motion, keeping the body still, feeling the downward glute. Was that for you? Oh yeah, I think we're gonna feel it. Yeah. Like <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye. Oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start that one. <laughs>